Hey everyone, um, Luke here, aka Stone Mosaic, and I'm here with uh, another comic review. This time of Aztec, The Ultimate Man by Mark Millar, Grant Morrison, uh, and Stephen Harris, and Keith Champagne. About um, uh, this uh, sort of um, extraterrestrial creature who's sort of in human form, takes the human name Kurt uh, Falconer. And then sort of develops his um, identity, uh, his superhero identity as Aztec, um, being able to um, manipulate energy and has a special helmet that can basically um, uh, give him access to the thoughts of the predecessors, the, uh, the uh, folks who um, wore the helmet before he did. And he's basically in charge of keeping the helmet safe, keeping it um, intact for whoever comes after him, you know. Um, and so that's fairly intriguing. Um, um, I think this character was actually created by Grant Morrison. This is a, sort of a, a 90s book. Um, and it has uh, came goes by the uh, Justice League of America, uh, including uh, Batman, of course. I mean, it wouldn't be a 90s DC book without Batman, it seems. Um, but there's, there's some interesting early stories here. There are about 10 issues. So the first 10 issues, maybe maybe they're, they're the only 10, maybe there are more. Uh, that I don't know, but there, there, there are 10 issues here of Aztec, the Ultimate Man, uh, in which um, very slowly but surely um, Aztec sort of becomes acquainted with, with becoming a um, superhero and then basically um, um, there's some, some, some stuff that I won't um, Reveal that has to do with sort of a, a bigger plan for him and, and and what he what his future is as a superhero. He lives in a city called called Vanity, and uh, that's sort of which he sort of um, looks after, similar to Superman in Metropolis and Batman in Gotham. Um, I found the first probably two or three issues of, of this trade to be, to be pretty good. Um, I was kind of surprised because I. I read a whole lot of Grant Morrison. From what I've heard, he, he can be kind of a difficult writer to to get into. He's kind of uh, complex in, in what he writes, and unfortunately, that that a pretty free right for the for the middle um, third of the book, I want to say, um, where things just got really complex, and just tr just trying to read this stuff out loud seemed seemed to be pretty tough. I don't know if I'm if I. If I uh, should you know stop trying to read um, comic comic um, uh, comic uh, word balloons and um, you know captions out loud? But it just seemed like it was way too verbose and way too complex for this hero. But on the other hand, I guess Morrison really wanted to um, drive from the fact that this is a this is not some lightweight hero, you know, who just suddenly came to this this town, which he now serves, you know, you know, as their as their hero. This is a little more cosmic and out there, and a little more big deal, I guess. Um, but unfortunately, that that kind of slowed the story down. Um, although the last um, I want to say three or four issues, where you really find out what's been happening um, with um, with the Aztec and what hit, what the sort of plan is for him. Um, that others are, are sort of um, engineering. Um, that is interesting, and that definitely helps us the book back. Oh, um, get back on his feet. Um, the art by Stephen Harris, Keith Champagne. I don't know if they both sort of collaborate on it or if there's the ink to I forget exactly, but give you a little s sample. It's some decent stuff. Um, not one of my favorite art in the world, but it's. Um, it's all right for a nice book where everything's super, super shiny or um, you know, you know, you know, tons of muscle-bound heroes with pouches and guns and stuff like that. Which thankfully I haven't uh, run into yet. Hopefully I won't. Hopefully I can stay away from that kind of stuff. Um, the art definitely help, helps the book, where whereas the middle third of the book definitely helped help to, help to bring it down. But I probably would give it a. Um, Probably a six out of ten. I feel like, I feel like the the start and the end of the book, the, those sort of two or three issues on, on outside of the middle, um, definitely helped the book, and we're definitely 
intriguing. Unfortunately, I feel like Graham Morrison sort of lost his way in the middle, sort of building up the mythology of Aztec, which is unfortunate. Um, can't say I I I I, I want to read more. Maybe if it's about ask someone else to see if maybe it's different, maybe read a little easier. I mean, um, I don't want my you know uh, my comics to be you know kid level, but it just seemed like it was a little little, little too needlessly complicated. Um, let me, let me give you a little, uh, preview of what I have next. Harker, The Book of Solomon. I don't know if it's a British series or if it's just printed by Titan, which is a, uh, a British, uh, publisher, but it's kind of sort of a crime novel. It looks like, it looks, looks like a, some sort of, it takes place in London. It's supposed to be some sort of occult activity, so. Interesting book sounds like um, it's one of the books I found while looking for crime fiction comics. We'll see if that's any good. Um, but anyway, just thought I'd let you guys know what I thought of Aztec. And um, in the meantime, happy reading.